Okay, so in social research, sometimes we'll have open-ended questions. This just means that the question doesn't have a category or some standardized way of recording the response. This is usually meant to capture more data either within or outside of the scope of the research. So there's two ways that we can analyze open-ended questions. We can, one, code them into categories uh, manually, which in my opinion, you should have just done during the survey instead. Um, or you can analyze them with word clouds. So word clouds are essentially these um, frequency graphs where the most frequent words used is uh, in a larger font and then the least frequent words are in a smaller font. And this essentially just shows shared themes among all of the respondents. So, um, I have an example right here of what a word cloud looks like. I'll just clear all of this right now and I'll open the social research data. This is again a not clean data set, so I, I will probably have to clean it as we go. I identified one of the um, columns here that I want to use. So we'll take this helper function here, which is just simply a word cloud, right? And this comes from the word cloud package. So it's really, really easy to make them in R. Um, so the cloud vector, which is our input, cloud vector is going to be the column, uh, which of the following wildlife species can be legally consumed in your opinion, right? So we're gonna make that into a vector. We can see it's over here. If I highlight this and run it, you can see you have all of these uh, open-ended responses of just animals that are divided by some uh, forward slashes, commas, blah, blah, blah. Right, so uh, then we can change our color palette here. I'm using our color brewer for this. So I'm just going to say brewer pal, let's have nine, and we'll use the spectral palette. All right, so now we have a word cloud here, but we can see that there's some um, words that are not species. So consume, species, allowed, and none. So we want to remove those. So the first thing that we're going to do to our cloud vector is make sure that everything is lowercase. So we're going to use the to lower function to standardize the format and we're going to remove using the find and replace function g sub consumed and replace that with nothing say cloud vector and then we're just going to paste this copy and paste it three more times and we're going to remove species species we're going to remove allowed and then we're going to remove none so let's just run all this, and then we can look at our word cloud. We can see that pythons and snakes were most uh, frequently thought to be legal to consume. Uh, you have birds, rats, mice, squirrels, turtles, tortoises, things like that. Right, so if we want the actual frequency of the words in a table, we can use this second uh, helper function I've made over here. So essentially, we're just going to uncomment these. And what we do here is we uh, replace this with whatever you called your data, right? And then you replace this vector column here with whatever the column is that you're using from your data. So in this case, this is my vector column, right? So then I can run this function and this uses the tidy text uh, package and the tidyverse because of the pipes, right? So um, tidy tests uses this to unnest tokens. So that means it's just pulling out each individual word and then it's sorting them. Um, it's counting them and then it's sorting them by descending order. So I'll run this. And then we have a new data frame with the words and their frequencies, right? So you can look at all of this and find out which species are um, the most consumed or the most frequently said to be consumed, right? Hope this helps.